Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Overall Blues playing as the Bayou Motors using the reworked generic focus tree for Hearts of Iron 4 Overall Blues but our legacy. Our community was not bounded alone, our ancestors have left us great foundations that make us what we are today, our achievements. Despite the fact that we're a small community, we've accomplished a few remarkable things and we're only having boat guards too which honestly kind of sucks a lot but uh yeah, our legacy. The bombs dropped over a century ago, and the actions by our grandfathers and great-grandfathers have shaped our society. What have we begun to compile our history so that they maybe told our children, our children's children, who were our ancestors? So we used a war industrialist. It's a silent workhorse, which is actually pretty good. It's a silent workhorse, upper class, and a war industrialist. It's all about money, maybe. What's on the next page? Let's do adapt to the end. Tech whizzes, probably not. Good Samaritans, revolutionary thinking. Soldiers, war, industrialist, dark passes, prisoners, dreamed of utopia, laymen, we are using militia, but militia kinda sucks, not gonna lie, experiences with nature, you know what, I'm gonna regret this, let's do Lama Nabil roll, let's use militia this campaign, oh god, I'm gonna hate this, our goals, now we must want to come and go one that'll guide a community through the dark pages of the wasteland, of course. And then erecting a palisade, we can not afford to target and destroy these that's effectively without casualties. We simply do not have the training as an intermediate measure until we can better train our military forces. We will teach them entrenchment strategies, such as mowing, firing tactics to keep enemies at bay, as well as proper trench digging procedures. And our achievements: safe haven, establish our home front, become a trade center, securing our homeland, restoring power, stable food, connected to our settlements. Uh, education, restored some workshops. Pre war armory doesn't sound too bad either. Retrieved riot armor, medical supply, explosive supply, salvage power armor, survival manual. Arms, uh, let's go with restored arms factories for now. Militia commanders, giving command of our militia squads to be trained veterans while officers already having frontline experience deploy along our troops, increasing their effectiveness and letting our command staff understand the requirements of intense battle better than anyone else. Our goals. Now that we've established our history, we should figure out what we shall do in the present. Discover what you'll do in the future is a test for our children. So, we have got sheriffs, we're canning our food, regional power, wealthy, advanced, community of peace, enclosed, society of builders, engineers, drug dealers, builders, and engineers, enclosed community. Um, we're war industrials, we're selling workforces, we can our own food. Um, Let's go with enclosed, but we might go on the offense as well. Militia drills. Improved drill structuring and trimming of unnecessary parts of it as well as streamlining the training program given across the country now overseen by veterans and trained personnel. We will lead a noticeable increase in the speed at which we can form our militias. It is of the utmost importance that we keep an edge on field of manpower over our enemies. Militia organization. A reorganization of our command staff as well as division or structuring will yield increased tactical efficiency during battle. Such measures will let our troops fight more effectively and maintain formation longer in the face of overwhelming odds, giving time for reinforcements. Militia recruitment posters. Making our most trained personnel or the units into larger than less soldiers portrayed as tough, professional, ruthless will let us make us effective propaganda. Showing these commandos ready to take on and defeat any enemy will both reassure our population and inspire them into enlisting in our militia. Uh, recruit caravan guards. More and more commercial convoys pass through our cities, and we have no curious thing. Guards assigned to them are not actually employees, but mercenaries. Promise them a place to stay and better work contracts than their merchant employers will let us recruit them into our army, bolstering our ranks with trained professionals. Our gunsmiths. The dire need for more firepower can be resolved in quite a simple way. Sending messengers throughout our nation to recruit any gunsmith available into our armed forces will both increase our manufacturing capabilities and bring a small arms experience into our ranks. So does weapon manufacturers. Massive improvements in, or investments into local weaponsmiths will let them recruit more people and expand their operations and acquire advanced equipment. In return, we will benefit from a weaponry provided or reduced bulk rate and have priority on any firearm batch over private citizens and establish an armory. Establishing a centralized armory building in every, in every city center will simplify supplies, increase access to ammo, and give a better working of space to our military industry, as well as an emergency location for militia members to go through and, or go to in case of attacks and local politics. We are not been paying much attention to our people. We should probably not do that. And then, new homes. People's are happy people. Improved urban centers. The capital of a country is reasonably well developed, but the other major population centers are isolated and we do not strongly connect to any of them. And improve the countryside. Our countryside is full of treasure and ruins to explore. Small communities live there, but they are too isolated for anyone to access. Let's and change that. And, uh, unusually, for the beginning of the campaign, we've been declared war upon by the, 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 the patrolmen. So, holy crap, there's a lot of guys around here. Um, hopefully we can do okay. Um... Yeah, holy crap. This is going to be kind of insane. Why don't you just grab their VP? Can you just do that? You know, is that possible? If you just grab one, is that enough? Okay, they've got nothing. Alright then. I guess we're going to start pat patrolling these guys then. Alright. Um, Gator Maws, which 
honestly, I'm sure these guys will want to attack us too. But yeah, that worked out with us uh, actually extremely well. Okay. That worked out way too well. What the heck happened? Why? Alright then. Um, I'm unable to promote. We more, need more command power. I did a, go ahead and grab this guy. We are rulers. Ezra Mead. And we'll go through a lot of the stuff here. But we'll go with the ruler side. Selling to the elites? Probably not. Ruling for funding intellectuals? Probably not. But we'll go with empower the mayor. Political strife cannot be afforded in these dark times. Our mayor is a knowledgeable man as well as strong. He's led us to this point and he can lead us much further. It's time to give him more power to his position and ensure his power in the coming crisis. Indifferent despotism. Destroy corruption. Caravans arrive on time. For your own good. Ooh, benevolent dictatorship. New homes. Safe people. Martial law. It's not bad. Expand our guard. Secure the border. The rule of three. Well, triarchy? We'll see whatever with the ruler takes over. And now, everyone, we've gone to war with a good old, good old, who is this Gator Maz, led by a young girl, so big the powerful. She's a cruel tyrant, apparently. Um, so, we're doing alright. We have 10 divisions. These guys are actually 18 combat with, which are just militias, which is not great, but as you can see on screen, we're doing okay for now. We'll see how far we get with this stuff, but, you know, you never know. Um, should have waited to do every cap of the army. Oh well, whatever. Uh, we will start coring a lot of this territory next, which would be super important. Get that tile, please. Uh, I'm going to actually tell you to not move into there, but actually just help support the attack for now. Move in, hopefully take Alexandria. I'm going to core a lot of this information, territory as well. Uh, don't let it move. And you're going to help go right there too. And you should probably go back there. Treasure trove, nice. That's probably not enough to kill them off, is it? Darn it. That sucks. Take out this tile if possible, then take out these guys as well. To have Fen right there, having enough army XP is very good, as we've already gotten this one over here. Doing this stuff doesn't really matter too much, since this doesn't apply to Militia, which really, really freaking sucks. But whatever. As long as we can destroy these enemy divisions, that's all that really matters to me. Oh, crap, come on. Or just go right here. We'll see. These guys will start moving around a little bit more, which would be very nice. Either here or here. We'll probably go here instead. Militia commanders are very good. Militia organization would be very good as well, even though it doesn't really help the militia out per se, but whatever. Um, you guys hold, you guys hold as well. Let everyone hold. Your inspiration, which is nice. We are using militia, so enforcers, nerd rage, motorized, militia gunslingers, probably be the one we want for this campaign. Let our guys move around a little bit more. Get some more defense. Get some scout kits, because those are guys who are going to really be doing all the attacking. Um, yeah. I'd like to attack you, but militia, actual infantry is hard, really hard to beat. And actually, we're going to core this one first for 153, which is not bad. Let's make a lot of get there. Let's get around here. Go around that way. You know what? If you want to move, just do this then. So be it. Whatever. Just start the attacks. It's not with us. We more military factories, but whatever. What else is new? Grab that for more army XP, which would be nice. And as you are going to make your way into here, that'd be good. Hopefully, we win and circle two, three divisions in total. And yeah. Do okay. And then we'll go to war with these guys too, even though I'm sure. Oh crap. Yeah, we're going to have to fight the Texan Brotherhood, then that's going to be a pain in the tuchus. Uh, we'll see how far we get though. Come on. Come on, you guys got this. Uh, do we have two anywhere else? No. I don't want to force the attack either. Because that's very. Oh, they threw in special forces. That's. I don't know why we're sucking so hard. Hmm. They do have an extra spare one if this is the case. Um. All we have are guns, maybe, and support equipment. Other stuff here too. That kind of sucks. Just go to Lafayette. Where are you going, buddy? Where are you going, guy? Oh, come on, force it. Screw it. Force it. Just win there. Come on, 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 come on. And we have got it. Nice. Go in. Maybe go in here too. Heavy struggle here, so be it. As long as they don't move it here, we'll be okay. Yes, we're gonna core this tile so we can remove resistance and whatnot. Good. Help them out. And then help them out. And then help them out. And of course, what you do is really try to help them out. Nice. Completely surrounded. Level 3. He's a jungle rat, which is nice. And we're going to delete 3 enemy divisions. And then maybe do a general attack. We are trying to get some more uh, planes as well, but we'll see what happens. Um, militia organization is very good. Do that anyways. Uh, militia drills. We did this one already. Encourage the women to serve. Should, everyone should be able to serve. The women of a nation are so afraid for they think wars should be left to men. We'll show them that they can help destroy the enemy to defend their nation as well. Sniper training, infiltration tactics, sniper drills, they'll kill raiders just as effectively as any man. Standardized military. 
Our militias use vast amounts of different equipment, be it firearms, armor, or even sometimes supply and food. Creating and standardizing a basic armament and supply kit will simplify our supply lines considerably and reduce the strain felt both during defensive and offensive operations. Inspiration taken from old data terminals and military manuals to be put to use in approving our armed forces. Old world tactics are effective too if, if too crude for the wasteland. Combining them with skirmishing and guerrilla strategy as well as survival training will make our army into a capable fighting force. Fallback tactics. Specialized recon troops uh, constantly scouting the rear lines for retreat routes as well as pre-planned reinforced defensive positions behind the front line will make our force able uh, to tactically retreat uncovering fire instead of simply running as fast as possible and, and peeing their pants. Because I don't try to pee my pants. It might happen from time to time, but I don't try to. Just saying. Alright, so you guys are able to defeat us. But not really. As well as the core this next as well. 104 is quite a bit, but you know, that population is going to help out so much. Not a lot to lose. I would force it, but let's save our manpower for now. Keep making more civvies. Mm, I recap for the army. Of course, we'll read our stuff like air base construction. Our nation could do well with clearing some old land or restoring what the old world referred to as an airfield. Perhaps going to be bringing trade and worse. We have free land, setting sail. A uh, naval fleet is a normal undertaking, however, the benefits far outweigh the cost, of course. Especially as our enemies are unlikely to ignore the waters as a mean of warfare. So, what are we waiting on? Set sail. Picking up the doctrine. So many choices we can make. If we are not careful, we can doom ourselves. Very true. Very, very true. Nice. We got rid of those guys, which is great. And we've got to be careful of these guys, but I do want to attack there. But I do want to attack here as well. You might just be able to go, wee! Like that. And push him out of the way. Maybe. Maybe not. 15, does it go up at all? Probably not. Nope, it does go up to 16. Nice. Good job, guys. You all just go here. All except for one. Boat guards. You guys stay there. Yeah. See what you can do about that. Uh, let's go grab this one, too. If anything, just go, just go, Nakadoches. Can you guys do that too? 53, 54, maybe. We'll see. Just go ahead. Um, vehicular warfare, probably not. Brutal dudes, yeah. Brutal dudes, we'll probably go with that one. This one's more like, not us. Ottoman army, definitely not hit and run. Well, war resistance is not bad. That's really defensive. War deception, it's not bad. Ooh, we get more attack and defense though. Even more down here, relentless defense. Explosive sabotage, that's really good actually. Um, it's not bad too. Or dudes around here. Anti tank weaponry. Brutal assault. It's not bad. Attack and breakthrough and less caps expenses. A really true raider nation. Brutal crackdown. Brutal crackdown. Infantry armor. It's not bad too. Backdrop up more better resistance target. Infantry armor. Daily compliance gain is very strong as well. But I've never tried this one. Let's do um hit and run. Our enemies are too far and too powerful, however. We have the ability to reach them like mosquitoes. Invisible but lethal. One sting shall have a small effect. A hundred has much more. War resistance. We must resist any advances by our foes. Our systems will need to be better trained to do so, but it's not something we can afford to take time doing. Having an early warp warning system will also help, with the runners able to alert settlements. Militia rebels. Teaching our militia units the process of guerrilla warfare is very important for causing havoc and chaos for our foes as they progress further behind our lines. Nice. Raiding enemy supplies. Our rebel forces will target their supply caravans, making their lives a living nightmare as they'll have to trouble getting food, ammo, and anything else they'll need for their troops. We're on less defense. We'll not be going down without a fight, and our foes will drown in a sea of blood trying to make our, trying to take our land and our people. Even more attack, speed, and defense. And then explosive sabotage. Uh, sabotaging the roads and supply lines of our foe will make any encounter more effective, especially with our forces being well drilled and trained in our war resistance against them. And now we're really struggling in the crap out of ourselves, which is incredibly stupid. But, I hate this so much sometimes. I hate Militia. I should have not done Militia. Militia needs a serious buff in Old World Blues. It's alright though. Because you both have to come right here. You have to do something about this. Or go right here. Or something. I don't know. Something. Something like that. You should be able to win. Should. Can you actually pierce some? I'm kind of dug in though. Which kind of sucks. Whatever. But it's good for army XP, and we give enough manpower that I'm not super concerned about it. Picking our doctrine, hit and run. Basically, another free doctrine at that point. Uh, bring up civilization, just five war goals times. I'm actually going to grab this guy, because, where is he? 
Sergeant better cost for all sorts of stuff like that, which is fine with us for now. Grab some of the River Fleet stuff, which is fine. We're losing here a little bit. We are actually winning here, which is very nice. I actually want you to hold. As soon as you get close to winning, we're going to hold. Grab some luck as you can. And better guns, yes. Tribal scout kits, yes. A little bit of lag because it's auto saving, yes. I want you to hold right here. Nice. Well, you want that? It's okay with us. All I want is you to keep them in place. Just let us win. What's next? Gun nuts, infantry. Uh, Splat consumption would be good. Division organization would also be very good as well. Better exposure losses. Nice, nice, nice. Keep them in place. Keep them in place. Get down there and circle them. Circling is very, very good. Good. And just hold. Let them die, let them wither, and they will eventually just pass away, hopefully. At least that's hope. Let's begin a scavenging program. Um, I don't think we have a trade node. Is it a cannery or a trade node? Oh, it might be. Yes, it is. I didn't realize that. Nice. We should make plenty of money then. So eventually these guys should uh, starve for supplies. We should be able to get more guns as well. we got demo equipment coming along too. Nice. Excellent. That's a case. Several times, maybe. Actually, that's the case too, right here. Should be able to do that pretty darn easily, especially if it's only one of them. I'll say I have stuff on there. Militia already. Nice. Does that really help us get more money? It does somewhat. Uh, come down here and we're gonna route. Hit and run. Bone Star create a route. Should get us more money eventually, so. Run this defense. Yeah. Yeah, that'll be good. Explosive sabotage would be very good for us as well. And then more resources. The waste of our forgotten store of house of valuable resources, hidden away in forgotten ruins. Why not make the most of it? Salvage new tools. With expansion of industrial strength, we must be able to adapt our workers with it. new tools too. And by gunsmiths. Once we improve our military strength, for this we must produce more equipment. Of course. Of course. Of course. That's gonna be very difficult to take out, but it's alright. Let everyone in on this. Go with anti tank, go with fire teams, go with demos. That food for demo already is not bad. We're just going to need a lot of stuff, that's all. There's a crap ton of stuff. No. They look weak, but whatever. It is what it is. We can't really, we can't really pierce them, but whatever. We just force it to if we really wanted to, but probably not. Once we can pierce them, that's what really matters. Good. A7, one division left, which is great. Additional plating. Way too at a time. Grab that. War of resistance. We'll go and grab the other workshop, that'd be nice. Go and force it. And. The organization is dropping quite quickly, which is nice to see. Yes. Drop, 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 and the gun. Nice. Now they have infantry armor, which is going to suck a lot for us. But it will. Here, help them out. Decode signals, which is nice. Good. Go and get that one done too. Grab some more construction speed as well. I want to course up as fast as we possibly can as well. Want the node, yeah. Good. Don't let them through. And help them out by killing off our enemies. Excellent. So we 155 for that. And we're getting pretty close with that anyway, so that's pretty darn decent already. Thank you, Reclamation Authority, yeah. Nice. So we've lost all, about 400. We've killed off 1400, which overall, I says is pretty darn successful so far. Super technology. Let's save our PB up. 
There, so there we go. There we go. And we should have won the war. Nice. That took quite a while, but you know what? I think it'll be worth it in the end. Um, Shreveport. Demand tribute from who? Desperados. And now, now you and me, we're at war with the Desperados because we're desperate? I don't know. We'll see what happens. Oh, we are losing here pretty badly, though. Y'all gotta hold on. You're not allowed to lose. But you are allowed to win. Well, we'll see how we end up because they're also at war with the Great Plains Federation, so. Um, yeah, we'll see. We'll definitely see how we do here. Well, hopefully, we do okay. Uh, some goods, why not? We'll give you more stability. We've gone ahead and cored all this territory down here. And we still need to core this style, Nakadoches, so. It'll be a while before we get there, but whatever. Um, uh, here. You know what? How about you just hold? Just how about you all hold? And we did more resources. Um, let's do explore police stations. In the old world, there were many peace local key peacekeepers, but they were well armed. We can hope to find the relics. Let them try to beat us up. We'll see what happens. Maybe they can, maybe they won't. We'll see. Um, plan a wall. Further research into advanced outpost construction as well as streamlined design, both integrating the desert environment and sturdy enough to resist small arms fire. Let us construct military outposts as a much faster way to protect our territory. Finalize the defenses. The priority is the protection of our population in the city center. As such, multiple interweaving lines of defense will be established around its outer perimeter. We cannot allow the enemy to break through to massacre our people, and we'll never let that happen. And our stand will become a mirror. Well, our stand will be done here, not one step back. So I'll probably spend a lot of time struggling against these guys, but whatever, you know, it's normal stuff. Uh, we're about this stuff, what about this stuff, point defense strategy. It's a uh, designated such, because it's operating requirements. Multiple camouflage hour outposts armed with long-range weaponry and off the beam path will both harass enemy troops from afar and give advanced warning as to the composition and strength, tactical awareness, and mapping. Integrating map awareness and tactical battlefield thinking into the training regiment of a command staff and recon sergeant will make them able to direct the troops more effectively. And know they're sounding better. Also to move and strike in a rapid fashion as well as organizing ambushes and traps leaving no respect to the enemy. Marching drills. As well, we've heard as improved physical and tactical drills, the freaking boring walk, as our soldiers have come to call it, and improve their strategic mobility be via better resilience and faster march. Being slightly more swift than the enemy will always be an advantage worth having, and long distance movements. Expanding upon our marching drills, we manage to improve it upon it, as well as maintaining tactical awareness, combat stances, and proper battle spacing during long walks. As such, our troops are more than ready to face an enemy counterattack, or immediately join an assault without having to stop and regroup. So these guys will keep attacking us, hopefully. And then, hopefully, we might actually attack Houston as well. Hello, that is not looking too good now, is it? You, know, you help him out, just because you can. Also, we did grab this, just better, just for war goes sounds better max planning. This is going to take forever to do, so in the meantime, we're going to go ahead and grab outside of battalions as well. And get some more uh, militia, because we can, for your own good. Uh, war industrial, so we also got expert negotiator, a silent workhorse. We are canning our own food. So the Bayou Motors being based within an old cannery named Mama Dulce's so had led them to begin canning food. Food much lasts much longer, and there's options so for profit, granted the Bayou so much needed income. Rule of three. We want to do maybe our own good. New homes. Expand a guard. Best candidates. Destroy corruptions. Uh, probably. Well, this gives you tariff income. Caravans arrive on time. A safe people. Let's do a different despotism instead, actually. Some people maybe see me as a tyrant, but they don't realize that I work hard for their safety. I'm probably too intelligent for them to understand me. Destroy corruption. The people around me only care about money. They don't care about the nation's future. These people are cancer that is destroying our country. I will treat it. Caravans arrive on time. For too long, caravans were diverted to other regions and were very poorly supplied. Today that changed when we will no longer be on the benches of the forgotten. Ruler takeover. Our people, or our town, rule is calm. No more should we worry about this, what people think. We can think about how to ensure their safety, of course. Uh, of course, we'll finish down here as well, which would be very nice. Deconstruct weapons. We have found many weapons far too complex. We could try to disassemble them into something we understand. Relics of war. The old world seem to be permeated with an atmosphere of constant warfare. Perhaps we can benefit from their vestiges. Expand our markets. We cannot afford to continue to sell vegetables to exist. We must expand our commercial offer. Expand caravan security. It's good to be able to supply our shops and villages, but if these caravans never come, it's useless. Let's change that. Increase trade tariffs. We need to make a profit on every sale, otherwise we'll never move forward. Building sewing homes. Our people need clothes, do they not? Setting up homes and spaces for people to sew clothing will make our people happier as they won't have to rely on an old world pre-war suit. And so they can make one. And rebuild industries. You simply cannot stand on the wasteland if you do not have a significant industrial strength. Which is very true. Okay, reopen armories. We originally need to expand our military force, and in order to do so, we must expand our industrial capacity and expand factory to production. We need more and more production. Our workers must be more efficient and faster. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow, as we'll probably finish out this campaign and see what else we can do about our position and how we are probably going to die to the Texan Brotherhood. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.